Let me assure you by God, if you found your way to this place, know that you must carry a testimony back home. I'm saying it only to a believer. I'm saying it only to a receiver, not to a hearer. That if you found your way to this place, or you are connected in the name of Jesus, you must carry a potent testimony tonight back home. You must carry a potent testimony tonight back home in the name of Jesus. Testimonies are real. Testimonies are real. They are manifestations of the hand of God, the visitations of God by his word, through his spirit in the life of his people. Are you ready for a change of story? You are going to cry. I will list out the prayer points and you will pray. It's part of the miracle service. So that where you have been found wanting, giving allowance to Satan, giving allowance to these enemies to stop you from going forward, you deal with them in the place of prayer. After that, you are ready to receive. Hallelujah. The overflow outside. Three people will start running. Please let ushers hold them so they don't injure themselves. The overflow outside. I just saw this in my vision. Like the power of God will come upon three people. Literally, they will start running under the anointing. I want you to hold them so they don't injure themselves. In the name of Jesus, that grace is resting upon you. It's, it's, it's speed. God is bringing speed three people i'm seeing in my vision please just hold them and whether you're an usher or not there are so many people outside three people let that grace rest upon them in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ one of the balconies the power of God is coming on a lady. Ah, 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 Adonai. Ah, 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 Adonai. Ah, 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 The anointing of the spirit is coming on a pastor you're a man of god you came here with hunger fasting and praying i'm seeing an anointing coming very strongly on a man of god you are a man in ministry it's a mighty anointing you will not be the same god is about satisfying you you are about to contact a grace that will redefine your ministry redefine your ministry you will step into a realm of strange signs and wonders by the spirit Are you ready to pray? Listen, when it's time to pray, I like you to pray with energy, with zeal, with seriousness. Are we together? I will pray for you, but it's after you have prayed. This is part of the miracle service. Don't keep quiet. When it's time to pray, you pray. What things soever ye desire, Mark eleven twenty four. 24. When you pray, believe that thou receivest them and thou shall have them we are going to pray hallelujah are you ready shalina sobraske berin toski aparatos kivest kradila savelend shobrendes kaparuski ata say after me father come on shout it like believers say father tonight i decree and I declare that every hindrance to my progress, to my advancement, let it be destroyed now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every hindrance, every hindrance. God has spoken great things concerning you in Zion. Pray. Pray. Pray in the spirit. Pray in understanding. By you I can run through a troop. 
by my God I can leap and I will leap over walls man of God pray it's a new season businessman pray father every enemy impeding my advancement to destiny I come against such Outside pray, all the overflows pray. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory he will put his angels charge over me jehovah jireh cares for 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 me pray shake back attack apparatus Rakata pranta kapa rakatas, lakata pranta kapa rakata pras kata balakatos, rakata pranta kapa rakata balakata balakatos, rapatos shopranta kapa rentos koto pregate. Jehovah, arise in the name of Jesus. Move my destiny forward, my destiny forward, my ministry forward, my life forward. Rateka parenta kaparekos koto prenda kaparekatos. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It's a casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ and bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ. Are you ready to pray? That every mentality. That is in partnership with Satan, leading to my defeat, leading to my retrogression. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, we tear those thoughts down. We tear those strongholds down. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Cry like a believer. Wrong beliefs, negative thinkings, wrong beliefs, negative thinkings inaccurate mindsets poor belief systems that are in partnership with satan in partnership with conditions in partnership with spirits keeping me down keeping me poor keeping me limited i come against you in the name of jesus i come against you in the name of jesus i come against you in the name of jesus Go ahead and pray. It's an investment in your destiny. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now I want you to pray this one with all your heart. Let, let it be with zeal and passion. Say Father. The spirit of procrastination. Let it be destroyed in my life now. Go ahead and pray. Destroyed. That spirit that keeps my destiny at a standstill through indecision, through procrastination, giving flimsy excuses. I come against you. It's a new season in ministry, in business, in destiny come on pray procrastination i come against you i obtain grace i obtain grace to move by making quality decisions prompt decisions destiny advancement decisions Aranda Gabraska Baleka Parotos Covrondo Baratus Yata. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Now hear me. 
there are many of you here who are weak and exhausted to draw from you again hey, to draw from you again hey, to drink from you again I draw from you again yeah. I drink from you again yeah. We've come to draw We've come to draw Natural strength, strength for the journey, strength to fulfill prophecy in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Strength, strength. If you turn aside in the day of battle, your strength is small. Your strength is small. Someone draw strength, draw strength from the journey. Draw strength for ministry, draw strength for leadership, draw strength for stamina, draw the staying power, the power to remain, the power to run and not be weary, the power to walk and not faint. Randa gabalentos koto prake balaka paruta sabreskesh shagra gabada gabaraka tapranta kapalakatos. Someone is praying. I draw strength, strengthened in my inner man, strengthened for ministry, strengthened for revival, strengthened to manifest prophecy, strengthened for a new season, strengthened to advance, strengthened to break barriers, strengthened to run through a troop. Strengthen to leap over a wall. Branda gabala gabara katos koto branda kaparatos. Take a minute, you are praying. Sivas katabala gadaba katapras kataparanto koto pos. Rata kapara kata branda kaparata kaparotos. Shala gabara kata. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus final prayer point you're going to pray whether you believe it or not demon spirits are real yes sir whether you believe it or not they oppress all men and will perpetually attempt the lives and the prophetic destinies of the saints they will attempt your ministry they will attempt your influence they will attempt the assignment of God given to you. They will attempt your children. They will attempt your life. It is your responsibility to stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ has brought you free. It says it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. We are going to pray that every spirit troubling my destiny assigned to waste my relevance to shut my voice that I will not be heard to destroy God's grace upon your life your home your family go ahead and command that they lose their hold go ahead and pray afflicting the bodies of the saints someone pray afflicting the destinies of the saints
afflicting your finances afflicting your health afflicting your relationships driving quality destiny help us someone pray Thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me. My glory. You lift my head, but thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory. has come by the testimonies that follow how do you know the doors have been opened the testimonies that follow how do you know the gates have been opened the testimonies that follow you're my glory the lifter up of my head lifter up of my head Lift her up of my head. Lift her up of my head. The 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 lift her up of my head. Lift her up of my head. You're the lifter up of my head. The lifter up of my head. The lifter up of my head. Elanda Samalako Sabradi Badish. Krova Zelem Baratos Cabreta Landa Feretoski Ataparatos. Elemana Catapraska da Balakos. Rata is Cabrenda Gabalacotos, Rata Paratas Cabrenda Baletos Cabrita Beredus de Brescia, Rata Badagada Balanta Crafadas Nada Badacata Pratucatos of Redaliata, Embrata Caprasco Sebalende Faratos Cabrade Gabalacata Prata Caparas. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Now, if you came here with any pain, any pain in your body, just people with pains, any kind of pain, shoulder pain, joint pain, whatever kind of pain, I want you to lay your hands right there. The power of God is in this place. Lay your hands. I want to pray for you. Lay your hands. Abdominal pain, joint pain, 
whether you are outside any of the overflows down to the basement following online lay your hands Jesus wants to touch you now hallelujah father in the name that is above all names my God such an anointing flowing in this place now the anointing of the spirit corrects it does not just create it corrects and so when that power comes upon you you see that the same way electricity gives life to a device that is the same way as it surges through your body it begins to correct anomalies and this is what God is doing right now I'm not ministering deliverance yet is the healing anointing marvelous things right now in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands every pain you hear the word of the Lord every pain every pain let it be gone now every pain pain around your chest pain around your your back for someone the lumbar area let that pain be gone now pain around the limbs be healed now for someone you have severe pain i'm seeing someone pain around your right ear be healed right now your hands severe pain this has happened now for days for someone be healed right now amen. shout a believing amen. amen there's someone you have a very severe pain around your rib area I'm not sure if you've gone to the hospital for tests but in the name of Jesus the Lord is bringing you healing right now amen. bringing you healing right now amen. now every pain whether I mentioned it or not I decree and declare be healed now Amen. I'm hearing the name Christova who is Christova I'm hearing a name Christova Christova I'm going to minister deliverance right now Christova is there someone with such a name Christova God wants to set you free Christova who is Martha Martha M-A-R-T-H Martha who is Christova please don't come out at random if it's not your if don't feel bad if it's not don't worry everybody will receive hallelujah Christova bring for me the gentleman that shouts now under the anointing loud please pick him and bring him to the front a gentleman not a lady Your name is Christopher. What do you do? I'm a student. I'm a student. Huh? Come again. NDLEA, sir. NDLEA. NDLEA. Yes. I'm going to pray for you, Christopher. Yes. The Lord wants to do a miracle in the life of Christopher. The power of God is coming on one of you right now. I just saw light, the ladies. One of you, the anointing of the Spirit is coming upon you. Martha, I'm hearing the name Martha. I cause that oppression of darkness. Let her go now. Christopher, I pray for you in the name that is above all names. Let the spirit of death over the family of Christova in the name that is above all names whatever is programming an obituary over the family of Christova it dies now in the name of Jesus dies now in the name of Jesus is there anyone with the name Memuna that should be a house in northern name I'm hearing Memuna I want to pray for you if you find such a person we have to be very fast. Christopher, 
you, the spirit of death over the family of Christova, I come against it right now. I declare you will live and not die. You will live and not die. You will live and not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know, I presume there might be a number of people, but there's a gentleman here, they call you Junior. Junior. What's your name? Junior. They call you Junior. junior. Yes, yes. Look at me, where are you from? Benway State. Benway State. I need to pray for you. Because I'm seeing your leg swelling, and I'm wondering what is swelling this leg. Don't be afraid, I'm not a prophet of doom. Stand up, my friend. Junior, they call you Junior. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over this gentleman. The Bible says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. As I'm praying for him, I'm praying for you. Anybody that plans evil for you, in the name of Jesus, what happened to her man will happen to them. I say it again, digging a pit for you to fall. May they fall into that same pit. Fall into that same pit. Fall into that same pit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who works in UBA? United Bank for Africa. UBA. I can imagine that there might be many people who are staff here who works in UBA. We have to be very fast. Please don't tell lies. Make sure that you are serious. We are not playing games. Please. UBA. Okay, the ladies, huh? in the name of Jesus, no, I'll pray for you. Father, my dear, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! I decree and declare everything the devil has planted in your stomach, I declare that it lives now forever. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, in the name of Jesus, you be a, I'm praying for you. There is something that God wants to do in that bank. And there are a few people who are going to be mightily lifted. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you. The favor that needs to rest upon you in UBA. I release that grace upon you. That as they are looking for people to lift. Because you have come here tonight. May my God honor you. What God says to one, he says to all. God has spoken to us that it's a season of reward. May it be so for you. I'm saying it to you again. Be lifted in a way that will surprise you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You return to your seat rejoicing. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is opening my eyes. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. I wanted to bring those people out. And the Lord is taking me to Kogi State. There is a spirit. When God shows me this, now he begins to minister to people who belong to those regions. It's a sign and a wonder how God does it. But right now I'm praying, even as God has shown me, everyone who comes from that region and has been tied down, bring them out by witchcraft, or any orchestration of darkness since God has revealed it in the name that is above all names I silence those spirits now <laughs> I silence those spirits now please bring them out very quickly the Bible says even the lawful captives shall be delivered I'm praying for everybody but I saw the map of Kogi state in the name that is above all names every evil that dwells within that region plaguing men by the blood of the eternal covenant all who are connected to that set that territory be set free this moment be set free this moment be set free this moment in the name of jesus who is from gombe state gombe state gombe state will be northeast i don't know why god is speaking to me now about gombe state in the name that is above all names, Gombe State. 
mighty deliverance is coming to someone Gombe state the Lord is showing me that there is a spirit that keeps men and never allows them to rise by the power that raised Christ from the dead Gombe state Pali show praskima hashandala korako sevreskiata Kradis ko severento sevrediskiata Granishana malako sabradigeberiata Let fire from heaven rest upon everyone who has been plagued by spirits within that state I set you free now 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 the powers that reside within those regions trapping destinies trapping lives I declare by the word of the Lord be free now be free now be free now you may not be from this region but anyone whose region is the reason why you are kept down I release you go forward now Go forward now. Go forward now. For it is written that even the lawful captive shall be delivered. My dear people from Gombe State, God has come to you. Receive that visitation now. Every family that has been tied down, every great destiny that will not emerge, I say it again. It doesn't matter in what way it is appearing. Joblessness, barrenness, troubles in home. I declare be delivered now. Glory be to God. Listen, do you know why God visits people like this? It's not a waste of time. It is God who really knows the root of people's problems. You just see people come like that and with one encounter, God just opens doors for them. Only God knows how many people have been praying and fasting. Doesn't mean he's ignoring other regions. It is just how God does his things. There is a family here. The fire of God is coming upon you. There is a spirit that kills the men in that family. This is what I'm seeing. Not just the people in front now. I'm speaking to everyone. There is a spirit. You've lost many men, male, male in your family by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I don't know who is here representing that family. But in the name that is above all names, we stay the power of darkness from oppressing your family. We stay the power of darkness from oppressing your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Last week, you were relieved of your job. Last week, we have to really hurry up. There's May God bless you. Please return. Once I pray for you, return to your seat for those who can. Last week, the Lord is revealing to me, you were relieved. I don't know what happened. You were relieved of your job. If there is such a person, a serious job now you're doing, and you were relieved, is there such a person, I want to pray for you. If you can't come forward, I'll pray very quickly in the name that is above all names. For that person, whether male or female, it's not given to me, but in the name that is above all names. I'm praying whoever is that person you have been relieved of your job I'm praying that the God of heaven the one who gives people allocations gives people jobs may he open a strange door for you now in the name of Jesus Christ 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 I want to pray right now you're not going to shout usually I will ask you to shout the name Jesus but I'm going to make a decree and I want you to bring all those people in front there are spirits that have tied men there are spirits that have stopped destinies from going forward 
they have not just attacked people because they are individuals they have ravaged families they have ravaged destinies you can see their signature all over families i'm about to make a decree right now i see the fire of god just spreading everywhere whether inside or outside as much as you can i want you to bring those people here right now you're not going to shout i will speak and then by the power of the holy spirit <laughs> let it come to an end now let it come to an end now oppressions causes patterns that have tied destinies i'm saying it again please bring them out let it come to an end now by the fire of the spirit of god anyone here under the sound of my voice you are a victim of household wickedness you are a victim of territorial spirits familiar spirits orchestrations of darkness tying you tying your loved ones right now be free be free be free be free be free be free i set you free by the power that raised christ from the dead i decree and declare be free right now be free for you and your children be free for you and your loved ones be free for you and your brothers and sisters be free in the name of jesus who is like him lion and the lamb seated on the throne bring them out very quickly mountains bow down every ocean roll to the king of kings we will praise adonai from the rising of the sun to the end of every day praise adonai all the nations of the earth all the elders and the saints sing praise adonai from the rising of the sun I'm seeing a word misfortune misfortune these are calamities that plague people you get up in the morning and something evil must happen by the time it is evening I pray for you I don't know who that person is but let the power of God wherever you are spirits causing misfortune aborting prophetic opportunities be set free now be set free now be set free now my god fire is burning in this place be set free now be set free now the plague of negative occurrences negative patterns around your life negative patterns it happened to grandfather it happened to father now it's happening to you in the name of jesus those patterns are broken now 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 in the name of jesus The spirit of delay tying people in one place my god fire is resting on people now delay over jobs delay over God's prophetic word you are going to shout Jesus and as you shout that name anyone who has been a victim of delay your deliverance comes now are you ready one two three shout Jesus 
Rakata bakata pas, rapaka baraka topates, rapata bata baka parakatos. Delay, broken now, broken now. That cost broken now, broken now. Bring them out. We release the sound of the heavens, sound of creation, Yahweh is here. We release the sound of the heavens, sound of creation, Yahweh is here. We cry holy, holy, holy unto Yeshua. families poor the issue of economic empowerment is not just the issue of products and services it's not just the issue of intelligence and value there are spirits and I want to set you free I'm ministering as God is placing it in my spirit are you ready to shout that name again that name the Bible says for ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ 2 Corinthians 8 9 that though he was rich yet for your sake he became poor that ye through his poverty might become rich the first realm is his riches unto righteousness but then it extends to every other area i'm praying for you any family here that have not had the opportunity to taste of the goodness of god to live a life of dignity and grace as you shout this name let those altars go down are you ready one two three shout jesus Spirits of lack and want and poverty. Lack and want and poverty. Lack and want and poverty. Be broken. Lack and want and poverty. Give way in the name of Jesus. Atmosphere. Shift now, chains be broke, break now, Holy Spirit, now, heaven know, heaven know, when atmosphere, shift now, chains be broke, Don't be tired of receiving, no. Don't be tired of receiving. God is changing your life. Changing your life. Changing your life. I'm ministering deliverance, but many are going to receive an impartation of favor now. I just sense that fire on my hands. Father, as many who are tired of going around in circles and have not experienced favor, I stretch my hands. Receive this moment the grace for favor receive this moment the grace for favor let it rest on you Paris Keparuta Siata receive this moment the grace for favor the grace for favor the grace for favor the grace for favor let it turn your life around let it turn your life around in the name of Jesus favor favor someone who came here struggling you have done everything you know to do 
whether you have a job or not the difference does not show in your life whether you are in business or not the difference does not show in your life whether you are helped or not the difference does not show let this grace rest upon you now rest upon you now rest upon you now Are you ready to receive speed? Destiny is a function of time. And when Satan steals your time, he has taken a major part of your life. This one will come heavy on someone. There are two ways God gives us dominion over time I've taught you. Number one is called restoration. Number two is called speed. When God wants to show a man mercy, he brings both. Restoration means the events that should have happened in your yesterday are brought forward to manifest in your today. Speed is that God gives you capacity to do much within a little time. Are you ready to receive it? I pray for someone. Let me start with restoration. I don't know what you have lost through carelessness, what you have lost through lack of discernment, but I pray right now, let the grace for restoration rest on you restoration in your finances restoration in your marriage restoration in your relationships restoration over your spiritual life over your job receive restoration by the Spirit of God now are you ready for speed oh I believe in speedo oh. some of you will run like Elijah my God and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I stretch my hands on a man of God. I stretch my hands over a business person. By God who has shown mercy, receive speed. Speed in ministry. Speed. Speed in business. Speed in career. Speed in your finances. In the name of Jesus, let me prophesy to you, become on time, manifest on time, acquire on time, conquer on time, receive the anointing on time, in the name of Jesus Christ. That everything that will not allow you to have dominion over time just help those under the anointing I'm praying it for you again by this grace for speed some of you God will take 10 years and put it in two months 10 years you believe it I'm speaking by the Spirit 10 years and put it in two years for you in one month for you Hallelujah. Look at me. When Isaac felt, even though blind, he felt Jacob, who had disguised to be Esau. He said, how come you have gotten it so quickly? He said, because the Lord has helped me. How did you return so quickly? Genesis 27, 20. How is it that you have found what I sent you to find so quickly? He said, because the Lord God brought it to me. I want to pray for someone. God can bring things to men. God can bring men to men. God can bring opportunities to men. Can I pray for you? Everyone who is a destiny helper in this season, may my God bring them to you. May my God bring them to you opportunities to your life bring resources to your life in the name of Jesus very powerful scripture keep it there we're praying 2720 and Isaac 
said unto his son, how is it that you found the answer to that business problem quickly? How is it that you found the strategy quickly? While others are looking for it, he said it is because God brought it to me. He's called Ebenezer. God can help men. That what men are looking for, God can carry it and bring it to a man. Bring it to a ministry. Bring it to a church. Is this someone's testimony? Again, I'm praying for you. What others are looking for. Because you have chosen to love him and to serve him and to live for him. My God, through this prophetic word, is bringing the things others are looking for to you. And Samuel told Saul, on your way back, you will see three men, each holding loaves of bread. They will salute you and they will give it to you. He says, of them receive it. Of them receive it from their hands. They will salute you and they will give the two loaves of bread. When they give you, receive it. When they held it from their houses, they didn't know that it's not their own. There are many people holding things that are not their own. It's prophecy. They are holding it for the time when God will bring it to you. They are holding business ideas, holding resources, holding lands, holding opportunities. I'm praying for you. That which is yours in prophecy, in the name of Jesus, I gravitate it, let it enter your hand. Let it enter your hand. In this season, let it enter your hand. Hallelujah. Listen, I've had the honor of receiving great gifts from people. People have been kind and thoughtful enough to give me gifts at various points in my life. And sometimes people travel from the farthest end of the globe and hold these precious gifts. And when they bring it to me, I'm grateful for receiving it. But then I wonder that at the point they were getting those gifts and they traveled from the farthest ends of the earth, it was me they had in their mind. Some of them, as they paid extra luggages and carried those gifts, it was not for themselves. The Magi carried gifts and went all the way. You would think they are going all the way was to be for themselves. They are going all the way was not for themselves. It was for Jesus. There are people who have been mandated to carry gifts. All kinds of helps for your destiny. My assignment is to be a prophetic midwife to connect them to you. I'm praying for you again. Anyone bearing gifts, gifts of help, gifts of wisdom, gifts of access, gifts of ideas meant for you and your destiny. And in the name of Jesus, you have not been able to meet together. I declare that connection happens in this season. That prophetic divine connection happens in this season. It happens in this season. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, right where you are, I want you to open your mouth. Open your mouth in the next two minutes. Everything you came here trusting God to do for you, please don't keep quiet. You are before the God who answers all prayers. Open your mouth and I want you to begin to pray. Go ahead. Connecting across the globe, please pray. God is not a prayer hearing God alone. He's a prayer answering God. Someone open your mouth. The Bible says, Philippians 4 and verse 6. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Someone pray. Pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Turn my morning to dancing. Someone pray. Turn my sorrow to joy. Rise up for my daughter. Rise up for my son. Rise up for my wife. Rise up for my husband. Rise up for the work you have given me. I have searched and searched all the earth. Searched.
searched and searched all the earth and I found that Babu Wani Kamaraka. I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth, I found that Babu Wani Kamaraka. Hey, Babu Wani Kamaraka. Are you praying? Open your mouth and pray. Lord, come through for me. Someone you are praying. Outside you are praying. Shale gabaranta gabarakoto sopra gabareto siata. Randa balana maka prados kapea sopro sobadi kaparatu siata. Hallelujah. 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 Was still praying. There's an impartation that God is doing. This is what I'm seeing. That's why I just became silent. An impartation is a transference of graces. This is particularly for ministers of the gospel. There are people who have come hungry with their hearts open, desperate to receive. This is what I'm just seeing like oil. This is not water. This is oil flowing. This is what I'm seeing. You see, our possibilities in the kingdom and even in ministry is predicated upon the kind and the level of grace that is at work in your life. Grace. That impartation, I'm going to minister to you now. A man of God is receiving unction. A thousand cubits is being measured to you in the spirit. It's time to step into another dimension of ministry. This weak ministry without power no you can't do ministry that way it's time to do ministry with power ministry with grace with signs with wonders intercessors grace is coming on you now intercessors grace is coming on you now the grace to stay the grace to pray and the grace to see it to stay to pray until you see what you have prayed for happen let that grace rest on you now there are people receiving graces to teach prophetic teachers access to the mysteries of the kingdom i'm praying for you let that unction rest upon you now sound exegesis of the word male or female that grace is locating you right now by the spirit of god <laughs> Worship us songs. It's time for new songs, new songs, new songs, new sounds. Hear them in your dreams, hear them in your visions, hear them as you pray, hear them as they worship. Psalmistry at another dimension, the Davidic order of songs. Let it well up from your spirit, man, in the name of Jesus. 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 There, there are men and women here. And you better believe what I'm saying. God is in the business of searching for men. That he can trust with the resources of the kingdom this is beyond just being prosperous this is becoming a conduit a channel for God's prophetic program to happen I'm seeing the number 17 one seven that grace right now is resting on people father find worthy stewards stewards of your resources 
in the name of Jesus I release that grace let it find you let it find you you will step into a level of abundance by the Spirit abundance by the wisdom of the Spirit step into that anointing in the name of Jesus that wisdom will cause you to do mighty things for the kingdom mighty things for the kingdom mighty things for the kingdom in the name of Jesus see listen to me listen to me listen please wealth in the kingdom is not an achievement I have taught you this but let me say this wealth in the kingdom is not an achievement you don't beat your chest and say I have achieved this no wealth in the kingdom is a trust he gave unto some five, to some two, to some one. And to tell you it is still his own, he came back and said, tell me what you did with it. The one who made five out of five received commendation. Two out of two received commendation. The last person, you would think because you were given already, it was his to do whatever he wanted to do with it. He said, you are a wicked an unprofitable servant I can tell you this without missing words we are in a prophetic season where God is looking for men and women he can trust make reference to my teaching the season of abundance this is wealth beyond buying and selling father again I pray trust men trust women let somebody for the sake of the kingdom for the sake of your family carry that grace carry that unction carry that grace grace for extraordinary finances in the name of Jesus finances that will not distract your passion finances that will not steal your heart away from God that the more you have the more you love him the more you have the more you need him the more you have the more you seek him the more you have the more you serve him look at me having I've taught you does not distract you having does not interrupt your holiness the holiest God of all is the owner of the heavens and the earth it did not affect his holiness that means when what God gives you affects you it is not what is in your hand that affected you is the reaction it made with the state of your heart when money destroys it is not money that destroyed money simply met with a corrupted heart that was already destroyed when fame destroys it is not fame that destroyed fame only reacted with a heart that is corrupt anything becomes its best version or worst version pending on how it finds your heart the state of your heart can make good things become evil the state of your heart can purify anything he says to the pure all things including your having wealth including your rising to the pure all things are pure if a pure thing comes to an impure person that corruption in the heart will spoil everything so when people leave God and misbehave because of finances it is not finances money is like a gun it depends on who holds it if an arm robber holds that gun he will destroy with it but if a military man holds that gun he will do much with it most people today have misrepresented God either through finances or anointing or fame it is not the fame or the finances or anointing that destroyed them is that their hearts were corrupted and they did not stay with God for the refiner's fire to purify their heart. So whatever came, it met death within the heart. Hallelujah. I'm saying this to you so that when this word begins to work in your life, I refer you to Deuteronomy chapter 8 from verse 13 to 17. Let it not be that when you have built houses, when you have done all these great things, when your destiny in life and ministry, when your gold and silver is multiplied, when God has given you rest roundabout, 
that you will say my power and the might of my hand has given me this he says but thou shalt remember the lord your god the side effect of being in plenty the side effect of finding rest men forget god they forget where he brought them from they forget his messes hallelujah praise the name of the lord praise the name of the lord lift up your prayer request please pass them to the person at your left or right lift up your prayer requests very quickly pray in the spirit while you are doing so please everyone we are praying in the spirit this is a very prophetic moment right now pass them to the person at your extreme left or extreme right ushers will pick them up bring them up to the altar whilst you are still praying if you are still writing please take a minute or two and write very quickly the God of heaven is about to visit you I truly believe in the God that answers prayer I do I have seen him answer prayer unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come please pass your prayer request let's do it very quickly the extreme left or the extreme right There'll be an usher to pick it very quickly if you're writing and for those who are connecting across the globe here's your chance submit or connect by faith if you can't you can just place it in front you know just in front of whatever device you're using your television your device we have a covenant with god it's a covenant of answered prayer Submit and then you pray. Your life is about to change. The God who keeps working wonders in this ministry is about to do the same in your life. Now, while we await the request to come to be brought here, whilst you are seated or standing as the case may be, if there is any part of your body where you are trusting God for a miracle, just place your hand there right now. I want to speak over the sick. We may not have time, sadly, to take testimonies now. We'll put that for next week. But I think God decided to move in a very mighty way to visit God's people tonight. Lay your hands. You're standing in for yourself. For all the hospitals that are connecting for healings right now, please, you can, whether you are using a phone or television, you can just put it before your patients. I'm about to pray. And for those who are following across the globe, if you came with someone who is not able to coordinate himself or herself, just that they make contact with the sound is enough. If you're seated here, lay your hands. If it's your head, lay your hands there. If it's a part of your body ailing you, lay your hands there. He sent forth his word, the Bible says, and the word he let them and delivered them from all their destructions. And I want you to be very intentional. We may not have time to call out for testimonies because we're working with time. But make sure you receive. You need to check yourself after the prayer. You can go to the medical stand. Check yourself. Doors are always open for you to come and give your testimony. But lay your hands right now. A miracle is about to happen to someone. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. High blood pressure, diabetes, peptic ulcer or ulcers across your body, bone conditions, blood conditions, heart palpitations, eye conditions, headaches, migraines, pile, cancers, all kinds of malignant growths, fibroids, lumps. I'm mentioning these things because they have names. And if they do have names, then it means they are alive. If they are alive, it means they can hear. If they can hear, it means they can bow. Tooth conditions like our precious sister who shared a testimony. Pains around your joints, your arms. Neck. Hearing problems. Seeing problems. Perhaps you came here for yourself or with someone you're unable to walk 
you're using an aid or a crutch or a wheelchair connect by faith now i'm about to pray father in the name of jesus you have given us the grace to extend your healing power to the nations even your people there are hundreds probably thousands of people gathered here tonight for themselves for their loved ones trusting you to touch them across several areas of their bodies it is your desire that we walk in healing the healing that has been purchased through your blood and i pray right now in the name of jesus that every spirit of infirmity plaguing anyone's body cutting short your days cutting short your vitality by the power that raised christ even from the dead i decree and declare that spirit is exited from your body now and i declare be healed right now be healed right now migraine headaches be healed right now peptic ulcer and all kinds of ulcers be healed right now my God, such a strong anointing flowing here. I declare healing to eye conditions right now. In the name of Jesus. Short-sightedness, long-sightedness, cataract, glaucoma. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Every blood condition you have running through your body, causing you illnesses of all sorts, let your blood be cleansed now in the name of Jesus. Bone conditions of any kind and of all sorts be healed right now in the name of Jesus respiratory conditions be healed right now in the name of Jesus muscle problems of any and all sorts be healed in the name of Jesus organ failures be healed in the name of Jesus any kind of organ that has failed or is failing it jacks back to life now in the name of Jesus hearing problems be healed now in the name of Jesus problems with your your nerves in the name of Jesus receive brand new nerves in your body lumbar spondylosis be healed now lung problems respiratory problems be healed now Amen. even though i'm praying for healing everyone in need of the fruit of the womb lay your hands there right now fruit of the womb lay your hands there right now for yourself your sister some family you know and you are praying for in the name of jesus i declare that this is the season of fruitfulness amen. shout a believing amen, amen everyone in need of children by the power that raised christ from the dead i speak to you be fruitful be fruitful may god give you children male and female children male and female for some of you carry twins and triplets in the name of jesus We're still praying. I sense in my heart to speak over someone who is weary. That even when you hear the word of God coming like this, something in you has died. Like I taught you when I was teaching on, I think it was staying power or so. Something in you has died. Hope has been so deferred. It's as if you cannot see God's faithfulness again. The Lord is asking me to speak to you even now. He said, if you had come, your brother would not have died. He says, but even now, even now, even now, even now, I don't know who God is speaking to. You've been disappointed in circles, in series, but even now, I am still faithful. Take it as a prophetic word. God is telling someone even now concerning your business even now concerning your marriage even now concerning your job even now concerning ministry integrity still pays godliness still pays righteousness still pays do not think you gave yourself cheaply to life for standing on God's side even now I pray for every weary heart 
There are people who are not sick physically, but their spirits are broken. And the Bible says a broken spirit can dry up the bones. Trouble can start from your spirit, your mind, and affect you physically. You go to the hospital and no machine can diagnose you, but you are dying. I pray for such people. Be healed right now. Be healed from pain. Be healed from hurt. Be healed from disappointments. I minister that healing to you by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Whilst you are seated, stretch your hands towards this request. Stretch your hands and I want you to begin to pray in one minute. Father, this is a manifestation, a token representing my desire. If you are here to drop your request, please make it fast. I'm about to pray. praying for someone Lord make a way for me are you ready now make a way for me in the name of Jesus make a way for me make a way but as for me I will stand trusting you father in the name of Jesus I hope you are praying I release answers, 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 answers in the name of Jesus, answers, supernatural answers by the power of the Holy Spirit, answers through the ministry of man, answers through divine intervention, answers through divine strategies answers by judging enemies answers by giving rest roundabout answers by opening the book of remembrance in the name of Jesus hear me we serve a prayer answering God not just a prayer hearing God I decree and declare bowing my knees over these requests every request here represented and the many that have been sent online the many that are on someone's table probably on the ground in the name of Jesus Christ let there be speedy answers shout like you're a believer speedy answers in the name of Jesus Christ speedy answers in the name of Jesus therefore I declare unto you that the Egyptians you see today I stand upon this request prophetically the Egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever the same way I have stood upon your request no situation will rise above you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ rise to receive the prophetic word you will never be the same You will never be the same You've touched His grace Your life must change You will never be the same You've touched His grace Your life must change You will never be the same Jesus every closed door over your destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead that door is open now that door is open now open for you and your children open for you and your wife open for you and your husband open for you and everyone connected to you in the name of Jesus number two Genesis 21 verse 6 this is someone's prophetic word I'm praying now 
21 verse 6 Genesis Genesis 21 verse 6 and Sarah said God had made me to laugh so that all that hear will laugh with me I decree and declare let this be a season of laughter for you let this be a season of laughter for you in the name of Jesus laughter in the morning laughter in the afternoon laughter in the evening laughter in the night in the name of Jesus you will love to sleep and laugh when you wake up in the name of Jesus and that night could not King Ahasuerus sleep and he said bring me the Chronicles and when they opened it they found where Mordecai saved him and was not rewarded anyone who should be a conduit for your reward in this season I pray may my God wake them and cause them to remember you wake them and cause them to remember you wake them and cause them to remember you in the name of Jesus when Nehemiah began to build the temple the wall of Jerusalem the Bible says there were two strange men that came to cause trouble to that project one Sambalat two Tobias I pray for you anyone spying on your progress and walking with men and spirits to see that you don't advance to see that the promotion does not come to see that the rest does not come I decree and declare they are banished from your life forever banished from your life forever you see let me tell you there are certain men in the Bible who are not just men when you hear their names they speak of spirits Absalom Sambalat Tobias are we together you hear of all these names these are not names Haman you see that now these are people who they came into the lives of people and destroyed them Absalom for instance this guy began to gain popularity over a, a period of years to a point that he convinced the advisor, the, the, the advisor of David. Absalom, I'm praying for you. Any person who wants to speak to the ears of your helpers to stop them from arising to help or continue what they started doing, may they never get to the ears of your helpers. If you are a king here and there is any Haman roaming around your palace, even if he's helping you for now, may God expose them. May God expose them. For the safety of your kingdom, may God expose them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Even though it later worked out for our redemption, but when that, that should be Pontius Pilate or Herod, one of them, wanting to crucify Jesus. The wife got up and said, I had a dream. This man is innocent. Don't touch him. Even though we know that it later worked out for the salvation, but let me pray for you. Any wrong step you are about to make, whoever needs to arise to be by your side to correct you so you do not make destiny destroying mistakes, I pray may God bring them speedily. May they come before the damage happens. I say it again. May they arrive before any damage happens. In the name of Jesus. Help will never come too late for you. Help will never come too late for you. Now I pray for you. The kind of honor you have not seen from January till now, May. If you have the faith to believe it. I lay my hands on my head and I pray for you. In this month of July beginning, may God surprise you. Kings will honor you. Nobles will honor you. Captains of industry will honor you. The great will call you great. In the name of Jesus Christ. Three more prayers and we're done. Three more prayers and we're done. Three more prayers and we're done. I want to pray that prayer of divine strategies for you again. 
this night as you go to sleep dreams that you've not had before visions of things you've not seen before in the name of Jesus the blueprint the strategy for the next prophetic season of your life may it be downloaded to your spirit man downloaded to your spirit man concerning ministry concerning business concerning family concerning your career the strategy for the next season receive it in the name of Jesus Do you believe what you're receiving? Yes. Let me forbid the spirit of death and then speak divine protection. Are we together? Our world is full of evil. It's everywhere. But the Bible says pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Let me pray for everyone here. Any car you will enter where you will never return home again. Any aircraft you will enter that will be the end of your life. Any journey you would take that will not allow you to return home, I call upon the God of my covenant. Let it be stopped forever. I say it again. Any car you will enter that will stop you from returning home, huh? anywhere you will go to that will mean the end of your life, may God give you discernment. We release angels to be on assignment in the name of Jesus Christ. You are preserved from the arrows that fly by day, the noisome pestilence, the destruction that wastes in noonday. I declare none shall come to your dwelling. My final prayer for you right now is concerning your spiritual life. That means your prayer life. That means your word study life. That means your passion for the things of God. That means your character. I pray for you. By all means, be as spiritual as you should be. That means be as prayerful as you should be. As word compliant as you should be. As transformed as you should be. Men and women of character by the Spirit. Doing exploits for the kingdom. Everything that represents slumber, spiritual laziness, laxity, death of your prayer life, your communion with God, I declare be delivered from it now. Wave your hands and give Jesus praise. We bless you, O oh God. We give you praise. We honor you. Thank you for your good hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are in this place. Keep standing, everybody. I want to give someone an opportunity to receive Jesus now. You came for this miracle service and even from the moment of worship, the Spirit of God began to speak to you, telling you that it's a new season and that you should not leave this place without making it right with Jesus. I want to make two calls in one, following online across the overflows. You are saying, Apostle, I don't want to leave this place knowing that number one, I have never received Jesus into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Or you are saying, I'm in need of rededicating my life. Wherever you are, your bags, your Bibles, everything you came to church with, please leave your seat and run right now. Come and stand before me. I count one to five. One. Let's honor them as they come. Come to Jesus. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Two. Come. It matters that you make it right with Jesus before you leave. You have seen his grace. You have seen his power. Make it right with him. His savior, his Lord and king. Young and old, male, female, come. Let's clap for them as they come. Three. When I count five, I begin my prayer. So if you are coming from across this place, please hurry up. Overflows, just walk to your LED screens. All other overflows, follow suit. Following online, please make sure you are prepared. When I begin the prayer, you join by faith. Let's appreciate them. They are still coming. Four. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to say a very big thank you to all of you. It gives me great joy when I have the privilege of leading many to this Jesus, not another one this Jesus. Some of you are making this decision for the first time. A number of you are perhaps 
rededicating your heart, your lives to Jesus, it doesn't matter. You are most welcome. And for someone who is following online, make sure that you do not shut down until you make this decision. Please lift your right hand high above your head. You are joining them. Please join quickly. It matters that you pray the prayer. Say after me, Lord Jesus. As loud as you can, say, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I've seen your power. I declare that I love you with all my heart. I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive you into my heart as my savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight, I am a child of God. I go forward ever and backward never. Amen. Keep those hands lifted. Father, thank you for this once. Your word declares that as many who will come to you, you will in no wise cast away. Thank you for drawing this many to yourself and the nameless, faceless others who are connecting online. In the name of Jesus, based on the authority of God's word, I declare your sins forgiven. I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. The grace to live the victorious Christian life is imparted over you. You go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.